My name is Ray Lee. I'm studying applied physics with a minor in music. And I have been working on the aura, which is a new musical instrument that I think can really change the way that people see musical interfaces. So the first thing I made was an instrument called the saber, which was a cello-based instrument um, that had four strings, which were basically conductive fabric that I mounted onto a fingerboard. And then I had sensors on my fingers, which would detect where along the strings I was, so I could control pitch that way. Um, and then I also had a joystick for my right hand, and there were touch sensors on that joystick that allowed me to control the sound quality um, and do really interesting things. So I started thinking about, you know, okay, I have this right hand joystick controller for tone quality. How can I improve on that? Like, what if it wasn't a joystick? Uh, I started thinking, what if it was like a webcam there? What if there was a distance sensor or something like that? And then I went into the next semester thinking that I was going to just build another version of the Saber with like a motion tracking sensor or something for the right hand instead of a joystick. And after thinking about it more, I just like thought about, you know, why even stick to this fingerboard thing? What if I just like, what if the whole thing was just a motion-based instrument? So that's what I did. I just thought, you know, let's make an instrument that's completely just motion-based and throw away the idea of like any traditional instrument reference. So after I came up with the idea for the Aura, I knew that I couldn't do it on my own because um, I needed a lot of programming um, to be done, which I didn't know how to do. So I reached out to a friend of mine who lived in my same suite. Uh, his name is Michael Indubuisi. And he's been helping me with the computer science part, uh, all the programming. Um, he's been doing some absolutely fantastic work with programming visualizations and just different sound parameters. When we first tried to build the Aura, we spent an entire semester experimenting with uh, a motion tracking system which was completely physical in that there were actually strings attached to a glove that the musician was wearing. There were three strings attached and each of these strings fed down to a joystick um, where the string was retractable in the joystick and the joystick would move around based on where the string was pointing. Um, so that allowed us to get like the position of the end point of the string. Uh, we tried that but that kind of failed miserably because the sensors that we were using just weren't accurate enough um, and there was a lot of complication with things being hot glued together, falling apart. Um, so after the string tracking mechanism didn't work out, Mike and I started looking into alternative tracking you know, devices. What we settled on was a magnetic tracking system where the musician would have a small magnetic sensor attached to their hands and then there would be a magnetic base which emits magnetic fields that the sensors on the hands pick up and it's fantastic it's so much more accurate so much faster and just a much better solution than what we had last semester how the aura makes music is similar to um, how the saber made instrument uh, made sounds in that it just controls software on uh, my laptop. But there's kind of infinite possibility for what kind of sounds the Aura can make. It's really just a MIDI device, which means it's, it just sends out you know, data in terms of positions and different parameters. And that, those can be interpreted by any different softwares uh, that use you know, MIDI, which is a pretty universal language. So yeah, we're really excited to start experimenting with lots of different 
software synthesizers um, to really try to see what we can do with this thing.